Israel was yesterday's testimony. Israel was yesterday's glory. Israel is a thing of the past. Identifying with Israel is like identifying with the devil himself. You have no genealogical records proving you are Israel. In Nehemiah's day, you would have been put from the priesthood until there came a prophet on the scene with the Urim and the Thummim. You have no proof you an Israelite. No, you don't. Those Deuteronomy 28 curses are not proof you are Israelite. And I say to the British Israelites, those blessings in Deuteronomy 28 does not identify you as the Bene Israel. You've been hoodwinked. Israel is a thing of the past. Second Esdras 2.10 Thus saith the Lord unto Esdras, Tell my people that I will give them the kingdom of of Jerusalem which I would have given unto Israel let's deal with that because that scripture is exact tell my people tell my saints tell my Muslims I'm paraphrasing that I would give them the kingdom that I would have given to the Bene Israel Israel failed Israel was the son in the parable who said, I will keep your commandments and did not. And Ishmael is the son that said, I would not, but went ahead along and fulfilled the glory of God. Israel was cast out. Jeconiah was cast out and his mama was cast out. And I remember reading in Isaiah 54 that the despised widow, who is the despised widow that was refused, that was rejected, that was put out from the presence of Abraham with a jug of water and her son, Ishmael. Ishmael has been gathered back in. Many of you hate Islam only because your mama hate Islam. Only because your daddy hate Islam. Only because your brother hate Islam. Only because your peers hate Islam. But Islam is the truth. Islam is the truth. I've come. To the nation of Islam. Through the Bible. I read about a donkey. That could talk. I read about a jawbone. That God clave a hole into. And water gushed out. To save the Israelite. Who was dying of thirst. If you identify as an Israelite right now. I'm here to tell you. That the water that is protruding. From the donkey's jawbone. It will save you today. That water is the Quran. I read about water. Coming from the rock. Two times. And when Moses, the great patriarch, peace be upon him, when he struck it twice, he was banished from the promised land. Oh, I wonder about that rock. Paul had his own revelation about Jesus Christ. He had his own study that was passed down to him through the Pharisees. Oh, I wonder about that rock that gushed water. Then I read a story about a prophet who was unlettered. He was not of an adequate speaker. 
He did not know how to talk. And I heard about him receiving the revelation in the cave by the angel Gabriel. He said, read in the name of your Lord. Read in the name of your Lord. Three times. Read in the name of your Lord. That was the water coming out of the rock. That was the water that came out of the donkey's jawbone. You only hate Islam because your nation hate Islam. 1.1% documented Muslims in America. All the rest are either undecided or they hate the nation. Oh, Jerusalem, Jerusalem. Oh, USA, oh, USA. Thou which stoned the prophets, you are partakers of the innocent blood being shed in Palestine. O oh, Jerusalem, Jerusalem, thou which kill the prophet, you are killing the nation of the prophet right now. The nation of the real prophet. Oh, it's written, there arose a king that knew not Joseph and he made them serve in the brick and mortar the Palestinians today are digging their loved ones from between the rocks from between the rubble just like the real children of Israel were serving with brick and mortar God has allowed Israel to be supplanted. Israel was supplanted by Ishmael. Israel has become the Philistine. Israel has become the Palestine. Israel has become the Canaanite. Israel has become the Amalekite. Israel has become the Edomite. Oh, read your Bible. Read your Bible. Search the scriptures. In them you think you have eternal life. Types, shadows, and patterns is all through the Bible. And you are still in confusion concerning Jesus' death. He wasn't resurrected. He wasn't crucified. He wasn't buried. He was taken alive by Allah. The one and only through God who gave us a Gentile messenger as it is written Jesus was only sent to the lost sheep how are you making him a worldwide messenger now Mohammed peace be upon him is the servant whom the most high has upheld and given him a new law that he hammered his nation in two. And now he is the mercy for all of humanity. Jesus was sent to the lost sheep, but Muhammad was sent out into the world. We hear of Ahmed in the Parsi scriptures. We hear of Muhammad in the Buddha scriptures. We hear of Muhammad in the Bible. Song of Solomon 5.16 to be exact. We hear of Mohammed in all of world's major religions. Until this day, he is the prophet who can only be compared unto Moses. Mehmet the second, the conqueror which was a type and shadow of Muhammad because he defeated Valah Dracula, he defeated the horse, he defeated the Roman Empire. And when he came on the scene, 
the trees were breaking from the fruit weighing the trees down he was a type and shadow of the fruitful messenger Israel was fruitless Israel was fruitless Jesus came on the scene and he cursed that fig tree which was a type of Israel and said no more fruit is going to come from you forever. All these Israelite camps are fruitless. All these Israelite camps are Christian. They believe in the death, burial, and resurrection of Jesus just like the Christian. Don't let them fool you. Don't let them fool you. Isaiah prophesied of Muhammad in Isaiah 42. Isaiah prophesied of Muhammad in Isaiah chapter 60. Ezekiel prophesied of Muhammad in Ezekiel 21, 25 through 27. Moses prophesied of Muhammad in Genesis, in Deuteronomy. Jesus prophesied of the coming comforter. Yes, he did. He spoke of the comforter, not a ghost, not a spook. He spoke of one who would come that would be the consolation for Israel. That will let them know it's all right. You lost the kingdom, but you are still welcome in. Surah 2, 122. Oh, children of Israel. Remember my favor, which I have bestowed upon you, and that I preferred you over the worlds. That's how it used to be. That's how it used to be. But Israel dropped the ball. And you are hanging on to false prophecies, my brother. Matthew 21 43 hits the nail on the head when Jesus himself said that the kingdom would be taken from Israel and given to a fruitful Gentile heathen non-Israelite nation these Israelite camps don't know what to do with that scripture no they don't no they don't as it is written in Jeremiah 17 4 God told Jeremiah that he would discontinue from his heritage. As it is written in Isaiah 65, 15. You shall leave your name for a curse unto my chosen. And I will call my servants by another name. Islam is the name. Muslim is the name. Better known as saints. These are the 10,000 saints. Deuteronomy 33. And verse 2 is speaking of. When the Lord came from Sinai. And rose up from Seir. Going from Moses to Jesus. And he shined forth from Mount Paran. Quit hacking dumb. You know that's talking about Muhammad. Peace and blessings be upon him. He showed up on the scene in 629 CE in the year of the common era and destroyed idolatry and came with exactly 10,000 Muslims, 10,000 saints in the month of December. Stop acting dumb. And I don't care about your wickedness coming out of your lip in the boxing ring, giving the low blows about the prophet Muhammad's reproach. You know nothing about what really happened. All you have is superstition. What you need to be worried about is the truth. Of what he's speaking that Jesus is not God that Jesus was not crucified and that there's no God but Allah and Muhammad indeed is his messenger peace be upon him I don't care how mad you get I don't care how mad you are 
that he was the prophet that the Bible was speaking of. And these elites know this. They know this. They know. They know. The Bible is a book of confusion. Written in Hebrew. Written in Aramaic. Written in Greek. Written in Latin. When the Quran has been preserved in its original language. And your leaders, they have left the truth of Islam to create a organized Christian church. Yes, I'm talking to you, Bishop. With the Apostle Paul's teachings, got the church in jail. Let me tell you something, you are in jail. You in jail. And your leader is in the same business he was in before he came into IUIC. Before he created IUIC, he's putting people in jail. He was a detective. He's under Paul's law. He's under Ahab. He is with the house of Saul. The house of David, which is Islam. It's going to conquer the Vala Dracula. It's going to conquer the Christian church. And God is so merciful that he's given you a rope. He's given you a lifeboat. If you have good works, regardless where you at, you can come in. Because all roads point to Muhammad. Study the scriptures for yourself. And you will see that Jesus spoke of the comforter who would do things he could not do. He said, I have things to say unto you. How be it? You are not able to bear them. Going back to 2 Esdras chapter 2 verse 10. What you going to do with that? Thus saith the Lord. Unto Ezra, unto Ezra, tell my people that I will give them the kingdom of Jerusalem, which I would have given unto Israel. This precepts with Matthew 21, 43. This precepts with Genesis 49 and 10. This precepts with Ezekiel 21, 25 through 27. This precepts with 2 Ezra 124 and down. What you going to do with this? Thus saith the Lord unto Esdras. Tell my people that I will give them the kingdom of Jerusalem, which I would have given unto Israel. Their glory also will I take unto me and give these the everlasting tabernacles, which I have prepared for them. They shall have the tree of life. They shall have the tree of life for anointment of sweet savior. They shall neither labor nor be weary and ye shall go and you shall receive. Pray for a few days unto you that they may be shortened. This is exactly what Jesus was talking about in Matthew 24. Tell them the kingdom is already prepared for you. Let me tell you something. The kingdom of heaven is being prepared right here on earth. Jesus said, thy will be done, thy kingdom come on earth as it is in heaven. Islam is the kingdom set up here on earth. It is the kingdom of God set up on earth. Look at its potential. Look at its potential. It dominated and it conquered the Roman Empire. The baddest of the baddest. Look at the potential. Of Islam. Look at the fruit coming from the nation of Islam. The truth about Jesus that he was neither killed or crucified. That's coming from Islam. Yes, it is. Just like Joseph was never killed. Howbeit it was a scam. It was a lie. Joseph was alive. Joseph was alive. And Jesus is alive. Peace be upon him. Oh, I get excited. 
I get excited when I look through the scriptures and I see Mohammed is the last and final messenger. Stop it. Ain't no more prophets. Ain't no more messengers. There's nothing else to say. There's nothing else to do. It's all been done. All we're doing is reciting what the prophet Muhammad, peace be upon him, already said. And Islam is spreading like wildfire. It is spreading. It is spreading. People for the first time are reading the Quran and the scales are falling from their eyes. They're learning the truth about Paul. That he was the Christian's God. That he was the founder of the Christian church. That he is the Jesus of the New Testament. That he is the wolf in sheep clothing. They're learning the truth. They're learning the truth from all nations, all colors. God gave Mohammed, peace be upon him, the coat of many colors. Is you mad? Is you mad or no? Is you mad or is you mad or no? Thus saith the Lord unto Esdras, tell my people that I will give them the kingdom of Jerusalem, which I would have given unto Israel. It was supposed to go to Israel. What happened? What happened? You tell me. You tell me. I seen your precept package. Y'all teach that Islam is garbage, but I'm going to tell you right now, you're going to have to go back to that garbage and you're going to have to swallow that all up. Even right now, some of your men are going back to the garbage and they are swallowing it up because what you teach makes no sense. It makes no sense. You say that Jesus was sent only to the lost sheep. But the scriptures that speak of the Gentiles... And one coming, saving the Gentiles, has your men in question. Have them in doubt. Yes, it does. You know it does. Your gospel makes no sense. You're saying that Jesus was born of Joseph. Joseph is not honored. Only Mary is honored because she was the real mother, my brother. Joseph did not know Mary until after Jesus was born. Case closed. Move on. Thus saith the Lord unto Ezra, let's deal with this. Tell my people that I will give them the kingdom of Jerusalem, which I would have given unto Israel. Let's deal with that. Let's deal with that. Post something on that. Comment on that. Because I got my finger on this scripture in 2 Ezra 2.10 and I'm like, what's this? What's this, Bishop? What's that? What's this? What's this? Take them to Matthew 21.43. What's this? What's this? Thus saith the Lord unto Ezra, tell my people that I will give them the kingdom of Jerusalem, which I would have given unto Israel. Now it all makes sense. It all makes sense. When I go to Deuteronomy chapter 32, verse 21, they have moved me to jealousy with that which is not God. They have provoked me to anger with their vanities, and I will move them to jealousy with those which are not a people and I will provoke them to anger with a foolish nation it makes sense now it makes sense and when I got in the Bible from the time I've been in the Bible these last 20 years my only motive was to gain truth it had nothing to do with racial pride it was to seek the knowledge of the truth and I had a brother that was trying to get me into Islam so patiently, so patiently. And I was fully persuaded in what I believed and I wouldn't be moved until 20 years later. Sitting in my room, reading Matthew 21, 43. Ezekiel 21, 25 through 27. 
Genesis 49, 10. And it all makes sense now. It all makes sense. I encourage you right now to stop being a man follower. For instance, the Bible tells you you ain't supposed to have the feast nowhere but in Jerusalem. He warns you constantly. No other place but Jerusalem. And you worship in the man so bad that man has even made you pick a place to have the feast. My brother, you are blind. You are blind. Your bishop is blind. And if the blind leaves the blind, they both are going to fall into the ditch. But in the city of the blind, the one-eyed man is king. And I'm telling you today, my brother, choose Islam. Choose life. Choose something that makes sense. And be converted. And come back home. Shalom. And assalamu alaikum to my brothers and sisters in the real truth.